like, but you guys were at the foresight to think, okay, we can get outside of the Bay Area. So tell us, tell us a little bit about that. In that yeah, process. I mean, I think our philosophy was just that, like, there's artists everywhere, like, literally, like, there are young, like, POC artists everywhere. And that's, you know, that's essentially who we, I feel like the majority of our artists are like black and Latino. Um, and then we do, mm-hmm. we obviously we're open to everyone, like we're, everyone is welcome. Um, but that's just the majority of people that showcase with us. Um, and I think we just started thinking about all the other cities that where the population I mean, you know, the population is we're in America. So it's like there's there's black and Latino people everywhere. But we were kind of like where, you know, where are some other cities where like there's a you know, a good population of these people. And I think utilizing Instagram is really helpful because you can simply type in like Atlanta artist hashtag, you know, and <laughs> here we are. Voila. You know, there's a bazillion of them. So I think that's what happened. We just started to be like, wow, this is going really well here and it's really just really the artists are are kind of the the main heart of it you know the artists are you know mm-hmm. the party and us planning everything obviously putting it all together but you have to have the artist and so we were able to find artists you know if you just literally go on instagram you can find artists in any city in the united states um some are going to be easier than others going to be more plentiful than others um but our first um you know the first we, we knew that LA was obviously a market because the Bay and LA are like, you know, they're yeah, entwined. Just, yeah, they're you know, it's together. just the same thing. Everybody's back and forth. So that was easy. We're like, LA is going to be easy. Um, our next one was Atlanta. We're like, Atlanta is going to be easy, you know? And it, I mean, there's tons of art, there's tons of young black artists in Atlanta. So we were able to do that. And, um, our first event in Atlanta was, was good. Um, there was ridiculous weather that night um and it was july so we were like not used to that being born and raised in oakland like our weather is very normal here like we just have seasons and like it's pretty temporal you know it's pretty temperate it's not too crazy um no thunderstorms in the summer type of stuff so we were like what on earth is going on but you know it was a great experience and it's still you know it still was successful and so i think after doing atlanta and la we were like well yeah like honestly anywhere is fine then we could do an event anywhere um and we did an events in a lot of places <laughs> so it's- yeah and i can i can agree yeah i can agree you guys been to you know detroit new york you know canada africa everywhere like you are pretty much anywhere that there's a, a demographic of people that really fits your your style you can always reach out to them and you can make something happen and i think that's the great thing about this um this trap art event you can it can be duplicated now you found a system that you can replicate somewhere else. It's not necessarily just, okay, we can get the party together and let's try to get some people from our town to kind of come out and kind of come spend money with us and enjoy themselves at the same time. But no, you have a system in place now. And that's the thing I, I, I like about you guys. You guys have created a system that can be duplicated. And that's the biggest thing that's, I think that's one of the hardest things to do in that in this industry, create, creating a system. A lot of people are, you know, just creating, just getting parties. They, they promote it and then the party happens and then it's over with. And then it's on to the next party. Let me get the next rapper right. in here. Let's try to see if we can do this again. But you guys have a system that it doesn't necessarily rely on an artist to come through. It just, uh, you, you guys rely on the actual painter or somebody body paint. Like you've never seen body paint inside of an art inside of a party before and i think that's what the the big mesh together what creates a a epic moment because you have all these different things going on at one time and you also have the trap music going on at the same time too and that that kind of gets you in the mode and you really have an experience that you've never experienced before so when you guys are in these other cities like what are your what are your thoughts on like, do I want to make this a major hub or is just like, OK, we're coming to the city here and then we'll come back at some point. Like, how do you guys decide on those type of things? I think it's just like, like you said, it's kind of like the response of the of the attendees. I don't know. It's like if people are I feel like we, we've kind of like categorized some of the cities into two two different ways. So there's like the 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 more like vendor events where like people are just kind of coming and like checking it out and they're like oh this is cool but like not really like partying you know Mm -hmm. um and then there's the ones where it's like they're like the bay like they get it they get there and they look at everything and then it's like people are really dancing and having a great time like you're getting that real experience of like 
there's art here, but this is also like really a function. Like this is a party. Um, and I feel like that doesn't happen everywhere. It just doesn't happen everywhere. Like, um, in some places it's just more, it's just more dope. It's just like, oh, this is dope. Like, this is a dope experience. Other places you're like, this is crazy lit. Like, this is like dope and just crazy. Like, you know, and so some of the places that have given us that like lit energy, like you mentioned Detroit, Detroit is amazing. Um, I honestly didn't know what to expect from Detroit, like the first time around, you know, I honestly was kind of like apprehensive because like all the things you hear about Detroit. <laughs> so, um, you know, but it was amazing, like getting there and the people were just really sweet and really beautiful. And like the artists were super dope and like they were like really turning up. Like it was like it felt like Oakland, you know, and and Detroit was in. I also feel like um, we've had those vibes in um, in um, L.A., of course. LA, Detroit, mm -hmm. Oakland. Um, I feel like the other cities, it's kind of like touch and go. Like it'll be, it's it's always mm -hmm. dope. It's always dope. But like that real. But it's just yeah. a different vibe. It's a different vibe in those other cities. I can tell because, you know, in Dallas and exactly. Houston and other places, you can just kind of tell where it, it's not like the yeah. bait. Like it's not, it doesn't have that feel. But you know what I'm saying? They enjoy themselves, but it's just a little bit exactly. different. 